Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a PR unboxing specifically on this amazing package that I got from Charlotte Tilbury. I was so excited when I got this one um, because it was just unexpected. But yeah, this is just my favorite package yet. It's so pretty. So I figured I would do a whole video unboxing it, trying it out, showing you guys what's in it. Um, so I literally haven't taken anything out of the packaging yet, except for this, but I put it back in. So this here is the Charlotte's magic cream. It says treat, transform and moisturize. Um, and it's so cute the way they put it all together. So focus. So this little box here with their logo says the name right here so it slides off from either side and then it opens this comes up and then this here says the magic dew of youth and luminosity in a jar you can't see it there we go um so it opens and then this is the jar that's in it so i opened this one because I wanted to put it on underneath my makeup. The rest of the stuff I feel like I can try out like now with a little bit on. But since I already had my foundation, it's gonna have my foundation on, I wanted to try this moisturizer out first and it was literally everything that I hoped it would be. It really did make my skin feel so good. And I went out last night and my skin was not looking that great today. So I actually, I put it on and then I like waited an hour and I put it on again. And then I did my makeup and I don't know, I really like it. I'm obsessed. And so let's move on. So now everything else in the box has like this brown packaging. And I guess it's still cute. I think that this is like a rose gold detail. So it's pretty cute that everything is like rose. So right now I'm opening, is this the eyeshadow quad or the blush? This is the blush. Looks like this. That's just like eh to me. It's a little like old lady-ish, I would say. No offense to anyone. Um, trying to open it. And that's what it looks like inside. So it's light pink. It's getting a little washed out um, with my light. So it's light pink and then like a brighter pink on the inside. It's a swatch of it. I can't remember if I put blush on or not today. So let's just dab a little on and check it out. Oh, it's hard to open. <laughs> I'm struggling again. Got it. Okay, so I like dabbed it in a couple of times. So I feel like I possibly put too much on. So, I mean, it obviously looks really good. It really is the perfect, like, true pink. I'm more of, like, a bronze girl, but it does look good. Um, I really don't know, besides color-wise, how else to rate a blush. Because, like, a blush is a blush, right? So, next I want to pick up the eyeshadow quad because I'm most excited to see what colors are in here. Hopefully there's some warm neutrals because that's my shit. Okay, I'm gonna read the packaging first so I don't do anything wrong this time. So it says luxury palette, color coded eyeshadows. I have decoded the secret to mesmerizing eyes in an easy to use application ritual. So shade one is for prime, two is for enhance, so maybe it's gonna be like a transition. Um, four is for pop, so I'm thinking that goes on the lid and then three is for smoke so that's in the crease so if you're wondering why I read four before three it's just because it goes like one two four three here so I mean whoops okay so this is the packaging the same as the blush oh this is pretty okay so obviously the one for prime I would have to say that that looks more like one is this color right here. I'd have to say that looks more like a brow bone highlight because there's a little bit of a shimmer in that. So I'm not gonna be priming or like setting my base with 
that for sure. Prime to me would mean like sweep it all over your eye and definitely not sweeping something shimmery all over. So then two is Enhance. So that is this color here. Probably also not going to use this as like a quad like that. Like I would use those two, those two, and those two. But I was thinking Enhance would be like a um, transition shade, which is going to be a matte, always matte, um, like warm tone. And then obviously Pop has to be that gold. And Smoke is that brown which makes sense, but again, I'm not putting um, that in my crease. There's a little bit of shimmer to all of those, like a little bit, and then obviously a lot on that. So I need like two matte colors. Um, like if these were matte, that would make more sense, and if that was like a little bit lighter, this would be like perfect for one look for me. But for me, I'm not gonna be able to do this as one look. Why do I have eyeshadow on? I'm supposed to be trying out all this stuff right now. So let's try out the brow bone highlight because I have like a matte one on right now. So we can add a little shimmer. That's the thing with these quads. Like I feel like they never really get me because I can never actually use that stuff together. And then I want to try something else, so I'll just pick up this burgundy and just put a little bit underneath my eyes. And I usually wouldn't put anything with like a shimmer on the outside, but I'm just trying to use it all. So I'm going to use that brown on the outside. And it's really not like that shimmery, so maybe I'm being dramatic. It looks fine right there. But typically you don't want to put anything like shimmery. Because it's going to like show off any little wrinkles that I have. So those are the colors. Oh, I feel like those are going to be such pretty like holiday colors. Um, okay, so next we have Lip Cheat Pre-Shape Resize Lip Liner. Okay, let's open the lip liner first. It says, cheat and balance your lip shape and size, drawing along the outer edge of your natural lip. Start from the corner on, the, on your top lip. Let's see what color they gave me. And then for the eyeliner, it says, an intense black fine tipped pen inspired by Shodo Japanese calligraphy. I may have butchered that word. This is the eyeliner. The packaging is seriously gorgeous. This is not like your normal lip liner and um, eyeliner packaging. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a pencil. It is um, felt tip. So I don't have any eyeliner on. So let's try to a little wing real quick. Okay, so the next thing in the box is a mascara. So I'm gonna take this out and this says your search for the one is over. My perfect five in one mascara. And then lastly, the last product that I have in here is a lipstick. And let's see what color it is. It says matte revolution, luminous, modern, matte, long lasting lipstick. Again, with the rose gold packaging. So I just wiped my current lip color off and we are going, actually I should put more liner on then. So that's all of the products that I got in my Charlotte Tilbury PR package. Again, I am obsessed with all of them, but I knew, I kind of knew I would be because again, this is like high-end makeup. I am so excited to continue using all of these products and work them all into like my daily routine. And comment below if you have tried any of Charlotte Tilbury's products and also comment what your favorite ones are. I'm like interested to go and buy more because I like supporting brands that you know, 
support me. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely interested in maybe picking up um, some more lip colors from her. I know she has like that one color that was like the Kim Kardashian lip color that I always kind of wanted to get and I never did. So I think maybe I'm gonna go check that out and see what else she has. Maybe some more eyeshadow colors. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you aren't already, please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And also you can check out my Instagram at makeup underscore Kara.